Bosch versus Monarch versus Bosio Injector Nozzles. Diesel injection nozzles are a hot topic and they've always been kind of a hot topic. One of the reasons that they are such a hot topic is because the efficiency of certain diesel nozzles, their longevity and their ability to spray fuel correctly and frugally is of great importance if you're trying to get maximum longevity healthy combustion and emissions, a smooth idle, nice starting, and other important characteristics out of your Mercedes diesel. So we're going to talk about which nozzles I like the best and which ones um, I dislike and why. And we're going to look at some alternatives that you can, you can use as a solution. So first and foremost, Monarch no nozzles are probably the best nozzles you can get. Why is that? Well, because Monarch has better manufacturing precision. They're a German company and their products are made in Germany. I rarely find that, that products of German or EU origin are made to lack standards. If they are, then um, please tell me about some. But... I just don't have a lot of problems with German-made stuff. The big problem right now uh, with Monarch nozzles is the distribution. Apparently, only Mercedes Source has the ability to, to distribute these in the United States. If somebody has found a place to get Monarch nozzles, let me know. Um, next, we have Basio nozzles versus Bosch nozzles. So... I have to emphasize that Bosch nozzles are not necessarily junk. Basio nozzles, which are made in Italy, are, um, I'd say that most people have given me favorable feedback about them, and that would probably be my second choice. I've been skeptical of Basio, not because of their manufacturing precision, but because of their longevity. I don't think that the Basios retain their ability to deliver fuel um, smoothly and precisely like the Monarch nozzles do over long periods of time. So that's just my two cents. Now with um, Bosch, Bosch nozzles are all made in India today, which is, you know, Bosch has a huge manufacturing plant in India where they still manufacture a turbocharged version of the 616 engine for commercial applications in case you guys, actually, sorry, Mercedes also has big manufacturing facilities in India. And they still manufacture a version of the 616 engine for local use there, which is kind of interesting. It's like another world. Um, but Bosch nozzles, other than their manufacturing origin, which, you know, is... It's understandable considering the widespread application of them there. I don't see the tolerances. I see sloppiness. Like when I put Bosch nozzles together, I see streamers where you test the injector at high pressure and you see un, un, unatomized fuel that emerges before or after the compression stroke. And streamers contribute to poor fuel economy. They contribute to smoke. They contribute to pinging. They contribute to rough idle or shaky idle. And if you're testing your nozzles, you should be looking for streamers. Again, streamers are like the injector peeing, a little tiny straight stream of unatomized diesel that, that occurs prior to or after the compression stroke of the injector. Now, when you're testing injectors, you're not supposed to activate them gradually uh, to indicate how they're going to perform in the engine. The way that you test them to judge engine performance is abrupt, quick, fast, short strokes. So you don't see as many streamers under these conditions. But when I do a short, careful stroke, I see streamers with Bosch nozzles. I don't really see them with Basio nozzles. I don't see them at all with Monarch nozzles. Monarchs are either open or shut. They don't leak which is the frustrating part, you know. Um, ironically, all Bosch gasoline nozzles for KE cars are made in Germany. So 
Maybe they will eventually follow suit with the nozzles used in this 615 to 6, and all the way up to the 606 engines. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tap the bell for notifications, and please tell your friends about it. I'd like to hear about your own experiences with these injectors, so comment below. And um, also keep posted on our channel for more great Mercedes content. And thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We really appreciate you. Enjoy working on your Mercedes Benz.